can you even see? That's what, what happens when you eat Taco Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Ross is my spirit animal. What a champion. So we are back, part two of the diff install and Rocky Mountain Race Week preparations. It's coming up quick. Next weekend is Streetcar Takeover, a kickoff party. We're gonna go there. That's gonna be Uncle Rob's first like test event. So if you're anywhere near Pacific Junction, Iowa, you show up, we'll be there. Now we gotta get this, the new Posi unit prepared and ready to be installed. We got new bearings from Summit here. A couple of these, I think it's these two. I don't know, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out once we get it apart. But we're gonna have to heat those up and like press them on there because they these don't just come off. I I remember that much. I'm gonna do as much as I can. Um, probably have to do something with a dial indicator to do backlash. We we'll get the yellow marker, check the T sweep, all that stuff. Flying blind. I have never done this entire process by myself before, so we'll see how it goes. But you're along for the ride, and it's only the real here, so. Let's get real. So that diff cover is screwed up. Um, I didn't even want to reuse it, but when we went to Summit, all they had were like, you know, the big cast girdle ones or the uh, fancy chrome ones. And I don't want a freaking chrome cover for $120 on there. Well, there's a big hole here. And we're just gonna freaking RTV the crap out of it because I'm not buying a stupid chrome one. And the girdle ones actually don't fit behind the pan hard bar. Learn that the hard way. I got a cool looking one for the Escalade and it doesn't fit. So we're just gonna make the best with this one. Here. That will change your life. Um, how do I do it? Like, like that? Yeah. Whoa. Also, these hats, the ones you see me wearing all the time, are on the website now. You've been asking for them forever. Staplesandautoworks.com. While she's cleaning that up, I'm going to figure out how to get the bearings on the housing. Why is it? It's like low battery. This thing's annoying. It's low? Yeah. Oh, the battery might be dead. I can get a different one. That was just the first battery I found. Oh. Well, dang. Give me that. I'll get a different one. I don't need the whole thing. I just need the battery. Oh. That. Kill. <laughs> it is time press the bearings on. Now, when I did this before, I heated these a little bit. I think I had to, but this one, they kinda, you know, they don't need much persuasion. Plus, you know, Uncle Rob has no 2,000 horsepower Escalade, so we're just gonna send it anyway. Put that on there, put the little smusher plate right on here. And, you know, just crank it until, until something happens. Uh, that's coming down crooked. Not going to work. I don't know why this thing freaking sucks. I did the other side just fine when the camera wasn't on. And now it doesn't want to cooperate with me, so. Maybe they're, oh, you got you good. You're compromising the bearing integrity. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll let you know if something goes wrong here, okay? We're just like trying to get this done, all right? Well, it looks fine to me. We're well, just gonna send it. How's Operation Diff Cover going? Clean. Do you want to tell them how um, I need to explain things better? Yeah. What did I do? You just handed me it and told me to clean it. Yeah. So I clean the outside too. <laughs> I didn't know. It looks better now. Yeah. And now we know where the holes are. Yeah. There's several. We got some holes here, big hole there, big hole there. Wow. This I poked through. Well, that's good. Because if you didn't poke through it, then we wouldn't know to put extra RTV there. We're going to use like six pounds, probably a whole freaking tube of goo on that to make sure that all those seal right. If it leaks, it leaks. Whatever. I'll find a better one later. Now that's all prepped and ready to go. <laughs> it's all right. Can you take the drill and whiz this off real quick? What a champion. All the softies in the comments are gonna be like, oh, don't put brakely on your hands, it's bad for I'm your skin. I'm gonna get cancer. Everything causes cancer, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Uh, yeah. Close your McDonald's. 
actually said so does your McDonald's if you didn't catch that. Are you ready to have some fun? Yes. Need a ladder and I'll do it everywhere. <laughs> hit it. Hit a good spot with it to see what it does. I really want to hit this, but I know that's a no-no. <laughs> the, the brake shield <laughs> is like, this is supposed to go the whole way around. It's just gone. Yeah. Oh, do this. It's all crusty here. What? Oh man, we gotta get her a flap disc because she would have some real fun. <laughs> Is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there are much better tools for that, for that than that. Yeah. The people want to see you paint the frame. <laughs> That's what what happens when you eat Taco Hell. <laughs> but you okay now i think we're ready to uh put the the diff in i can't tell if these little shins if one of them's thicker than the other one i don't know which side came out of what because when ash and yanked this out in the previous video uh they just fell onto the floor so we're just gonna have to see what works oh, that what i just like Took all of that off, just like barely pressed it. It just. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, that's satisfying. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't say, but not to you. Boom. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Ah, I oh. almost caught it. Now I have to clean that again. Out. Yeah, we're just gonna shove it in. I like how we cleaned all that, but you have dirty hands. Yeah, well, it's just gonna have to be that way. I don't have enough hands to do this all right. my hands are dirty, and I have no way to the camera. Did it work? And well, I have to put this part in, and then put the little thingies in here after the fact because I can't get it all to stay in on its own. So I'm just gonna have to wedge it in there. It's totally not working. What if I help, like, that would help. push it? Just don't smush my hand, hold on. Hold on, damn it. Need more grease. You need more grease. Yeah, flip it around. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the, I, want the, I think the chamfer side will help put it in better. Wait, hold on. I don't know. I think it'd be a good idea. I well, don't it know. It seems like it doesn't fit. Maybe I need to press the bearings on more. I'll try that. I went back to the press and I pressed with the race on the bearing instead of just the bearing surface. And it, they both went on a little bit more. So that might be why. Might be why it didn't fit before. But we'll see if I suck or not. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> it looks like you got it. Not quite. It's still crooked. Yeah. This is probably the wrong kind of hammer for this, but... If it works, it works. I'm not stupid enough to bang on the bearing race, but... It's moving. Yeah. Where's that pry bar? Ah, uh, just get in your home. <laughs> if there's any doubt as to my legitimacy and expertise on this topic, I don't think there's any question anymore. I really need like a rubber mallet or a dead blow. I don't know if they have one. So I got it in. It required some persuasion with the dead blow. I really don't know if there's any other way to do that. It's probably how you do it. But if it's not, Oh well, tell me in the comments. Leave comments, we read them all. And if I do something stupid, put me on blast for it. That's fine, because comments help things grow, even if you're making fun of me. With that being said, I'm gonna torque these down to 60 foot-pounds. This light is annoying me. This way. I'm gonna torque this down to 60 foot-pounds, and uh, then we're gonna put some, we're gonna break clean all the gear teeth off, put some marker on there, and check the sweep pattern.
Yeah, we took the drive shaft out. So it's easier to spin. You hear a little bit of noise. I think that's normal, the Escalade did that. But we have to break clean these teeth off to check the, the pattern for real. Well, clearly the Escalade worked fine. So I think that even if you don't know what you're doing, clearly you're doing better than everybody else. That is true. That is a stock rear end with a different carrier in it. And it's holding 2000 horsepower. So. Suck it. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> clean them teeth off. I just did. Yeah. Make it rain. No. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering why this rag is on this tailpipe, because I hit my head on it yesterday because I couldn't see it. So if this is here, uh, it makes it easier to see. You tall people speak up down there. You know my pain. Tell me a funny story about a time you hit your head. I like funny stories. Do you like funny stories? If they're actually funny. There you go. Oh, and that one time at band camp. What happened to band camp? It's from American Pie. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I thought you were going to have a funny story. God. I was not in f***ing band. <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you play the trombone. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was just on my phone trying to figure out what I could use to check the the gear sweep on there and I realized okay this came with some gasket maker I thought maybe it came with some stuff and you know what it did it even came with this handy dandy little paintbrush and this blue stuff and this stuff ah oh, gear marking compound right on there this blue must be thread locker I really don't know this install kit is like actually a kit it comes with more than I need but sweet I feel like this is to paint that on there because you know it always looks real real nice oh it's even yellow look at this it's so pro this is way too nice for me look at that what we're gonna do i have never ever ever done this before so if i look like i know what i'm doing i'm a good faker but I think you just paint it on here, you know, with a good amount of teeth to be painted. You want like a good coating so you can see the impression that it makes when it's like run, like turning. You'll see what I mean once we uh, do it, but I don't want to leave any like bald spots because that could be mistaken for sweep instead of you know, painting error. I don't think you need to paint this many teeth. I'm just doing it because I can. I'm gonna paint all of them. I'm gonna paint the tops, I'm gonna paint the bottoms. Going inside, out, slide, back, slash, and forth everywhere. <laughs> okay, Bob Ross. <laughs> Then you just, just... Are you zen? Yeah, I'm zen. Bob Ross is my spirit animal. Uh, Bob Ross was a military veteran who probably had PTSD and decided to paint things instead. That's pure speculation. I like Bob Ross. I was just saying he was in the military. Most people probably don't know that. I think you're supposed to let this stuff dry, but I don't really know. Oh, uh, Logan's going back with the rust chipping. No, I'm not. I can't get her to stop. Every time, anytime I turn around, she got the wire wheel uh, somewhere and the fan blows it in my face and I just sit there and I'm like, you know, at least she's getting the rust off. Like, it's good. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Why I don't say anything and I take the rust to the face? Because it's just part of the deal when you're working on something like this. You wanted to see something interesting. <laughs> You've taken his dignity and thrown it down the drain. He's wearing lots of pink. He got nothing left. Hey, Ruger. Ruger, you look ridiculous. <laughs> wow, he's like legally blind now. Yeah, he only has one eye, but when he wears those, it looks like he has two. He looks cool. 
Yeah, so cool. <laughs> can he even see? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he can Other see. Other dogs, when they have these on, they can see. I don't know why he couldn't. Update, he got he got the doggles off, and it looks like he bonked into the old rear end. He's got grease on his forehead. <laughs> okay, we're getting we're about to check this gear lash here. We're just waiting for the paint to dry. But I just noticed this light that I grabbed from Eric over there. See what it's called? What? Look, look what the light's called. Are you <laughs> He can't make this up. Just can't. Okay, so we're gonna check the sweep pattern now. I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I really don't know. I know you're supposed to have like resistance on it. So you can see the pattern there. It's pretty well in the middle. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but the brunt looks like it's in the middle. Looks good enough to me to put it back together. If there was something really wrong with it, you know, we'd have to change something, but we're just gonna put it back together and see what happens. If it makes noise, it makes noise. We'll check the backwards sweep also, the coast part of it. I don't really know. That looks like it's too far in. But I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just gonna put it together and see if it works. How about that? Not even gonna try to pretend. Does that sound good to you? Yep. <laughs> so we got this all in here now. I uh, pulled the king pin out already. And we're getting ready to slide these thingies in here. Just like that. And to make this about 10 bazillion times easier I uh, got a c-clamp and just pushed the axle against the back mount here and that gave me enough room to slide this in without any worry whatsoever because uh, when I tried to push it in with my hand it, it wouldn't fit no matter what I did so find yourself a c-clamp makes that real easy because there's a lot less room in here with these posi springs than there is with uh, the old garbage open diff which I've come to learn the RPO code for that you know this doesn't have a G80 we well, you know what it does have a G69 that is actually the code in the glove box for the open diff that was in this thing imagine that had a G69 diff and we took it out so I've got the other uh, c-clip in there and Logan's gonna put the daddy pin in that's the old one I already got the new one stuck in there huh yeah you didn't see that when I grabbed it. I just did. I said it after you grabbed it. Right there. Now, I'm gonna use the dead blow. You have to tap it. It's a lot stiffer than the other one is. That's what I said. But make sure, wait, mm -hmm. make sure that this stays lined up with there so we can get the bolt in. Well. Here, we'll just give it a little turn. Okay, tap it in. T -t -t tap is it, it still in. Good? Yep. T -t Tap it in. Just tap it in. Cool. Uh, update. He will not wear the goggles. Yeah. And he's a big dick. He looks angry. Probably is. He looks mad at me when I put them on him. <laughs> I got putting it back on him and he was getting pissed. <laughs> Every time you take him off, I put it back on him. Okay, so. We're gonna check the backlash on here the right way, or at least the right way that, I'll, that they know how to do. Hold on. Looks like you have some type of apparatus here that is. Yeah, I gotta. This is this is too rich for my blood. I don't know what this is here. Oh this looks like some type of magnifying glass soldering contraption that my grandpa had. Yeah. You're gonna have to look up on the internet where they want this to be like positioned, but pretty much that's pretty good. And then you. Zero's way over here. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna have to fire up the old Google machine to find out the proper orientation for this. All right, so I think I have this set up right. Got the gauge zeroed out, and now we move it a little bit. You see how much play it has. Well, someone's gonna have to hold it. Well, I have no ding a darn clue what I'm doing with that. 
so I'm just not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna pivot to something else I do know how to do, and that is put the brakes back together with these super awesome new EBC brakes components. So this stuff is top of the line. Like, this is as good as it gets for a drop-in replacement without modifying your uh, calipers or any of that. Like, just pads and rotors. I would be shocked if you could find something that makes a bigger difference than these because I use them on the Escalade and I stopped that thing from 150 miles an hour like no problem at all. And I had gone 150 miles an hour, not that quickly, but I still gone that fast and stopped with other passengers before. That thing had brake fade, hard, it was not fun to stop. Now it stops really well. I run these same things on my daily driver Duramax too. It has no problem stopping a trailer without the trailer brake on. So we're putting them on here too. I am super stoked for these because they're awesome. Uh, this is the right side. They're directional too. So, dang. The black anodizing wears off uh, once you, you know, seat the pads and everything. But the cool part is it only wears off where the contact surface is. So, um, it doesn't get surface rust on the edges and everywhere else. It's pretty freaking sweet. Normally you get rotors, they get all grody like this. These parts stay black because they don't wear off. Just something that they do to go the extra mile and have some nice looking stuff. You can see, uh, you can see on the Escalade how they look like that. Well, these ones are grody because they've been sitting out, but you can tell the area that is not the actual pad is still black. Let's get these things bolted up. Now, I don't need to go into detail to tell you guys how to change brake pads. They come with these, uh, these little thingies. They go in the piston. I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but they want you to put them in there. So I put them in there. There's a piece of paper that says their purpose. Um, I just can't find it or I would show it to you. Give me a minute. Oh, I think it's over here. Uh, yeah, piston insert cushions. These piston cushions form an anti vibration interface between the pistons and the rear of the brake pads where all brake noises generate and eliminate brake squeals or squeak. Hmm. So that's what they're for. So we're gonna put them in because we don't want squeaky brakes. There you go. Pads look way too fancy for Uncle Rob, but you know what? It's fine. Because deep down, Uncle Rob deserves this. Uh, yeah, you know, I put anesthes on the caliper bolts just because it helps change them next time. These ones really needed them. Uh, they weren't too bad to get off. I think whoever had done these before um, had thought ahead. That's kind of a typical thing up north. We always, always, always put anesthes on anything that has to do with brakes because they suck to get off when you don't do that. I went ahead and did the front ones too. That was difficult because the brackets are so crusty that they were swollen behind the slider, you know, clips that the pads were like stuck in there. I had to beat those out with a hammer. And also the new ones want to do the same thing. So I had to file the slides, file the edges, grind the sides, like to make it so they weren't all tight in there. Cause I'm, I'm convinced that's why the brakes were so terrible in this thing because the, the front pads were just like stuck. They weren't, they weren't clamping, they weren't releasing. It was just stuck. This is not good all around. Uh, this side was not as bad, but um, I think I'm probably gonna take it apart tomorrow and file that down too, because on race week, I don't wanna have any problems with, you know, like the one side starts to drag or something like that. The back ones are fine. This one's good. But now I gotta go back and do the other side to make sure that one's good too. Do I have to? Probably not. Is it the right thing to do? Yes, it is. So that's what I'm gonna do. Do you wanna have brake problems on race week? No. Yeah. So that means I gotta take that apart and file it, make sure it's uh, make sure it's all good. But we got some really interesting bonus footage from some weird stuff with a snake that happened uh, outside the shop this morning. So stay tuned for the very end to see 
the mystery of the creepy snake and snake. somebody who did something to it. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, you know, like that, like video where the like sneaky snake, and it's like they say it all funny, like a, they have a speech impediment or something. Or like that guy who's like, I'm a snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna want to miss this. Real quick before the bonus footage, just want to show you guys the shirts we have on the website. This one, the Dale Earnhardt style pit crew shirt. Um, it's the only non-black shirt we have. It's probably like one of my favorites. Um, also, we got the Uncle Rob shirts and the OG flag shirts and hoodies over there uh, with this flag graphic on them. And if you're a, I think it's a small, yeah, it's a small 3X and 4X of this Good Ranch style shirt, the one you saw me wearing in this video. We have a few of those left too. Yeah, if, uh, if you're gonna be anywhere in the Omaha area this weekend, we're gonna be at the Streetcar Takeover kickoff party with Uncle Rob, and we're bringing merch to, uh, I don't know how that's gonna go. I've never tried to sell merch in an event before, but yeah, gotta put diesel in the tank. So if you like the videos, you wanna support what we're doing, and you live to be a better person every day than you were the day before, one of these shirts is for you. Every single one comes with a handwritten note from us too. So, stapletonautoworks.com, check it out, and check out this bonus footage with the Goofy Snake stuff. Okay, so here's this bonus footage. We had something pretty funny happen. Logan, can you explain what, what happened? What's going on here? There was a snake on the concrete outside, and I killed it, and no, I sent- No, she stomped it. <laughs> she didn't kill it, she like destroyed it. I stomped on it like 69 times. <laughs> It was a little snake too. It must have been like nine inches long. I thought it was a worm when I walked out and walked past it. There was ants over it and I was like, oh man, this worm was trying to get across and didn't make it. And it's a snake. Yeah, so she stomped the heck out of this snake. Little John spilled stuff all over the carpet. It's gonna help its car wash. It's is good. it still out there? Yeah, it's still out there. Let's go look at it. Somebody randomly decided to label it. I don't know. Okay, so we don't know who did this. It's a mystery. So the snake is down here. You know, you you walk up to it <laughs> and... Who did this? There's the remnants of the spot where you smashed it. It was like a... I think they're yeah. eating it. Yeah, they are. Because like... He made like a sound when the air came out of him. I felt like an asshole. Yeah, someone labeled <laughs> the dead snake with a piece of tape. Sheesh. No one knows who did it. Either there's a really good liar in there or it was none of us and someone is hilarious somewhere else. But they picked up the snake and they wrapped it around it. It's not even just stuck to it. Like they looped it around the dead snake. It's a it's a mystery. I don't, I don't know. Well. Ashton was the first one here this morning. It was not there this morning. It wasn't? I, walked, well, I saw the snake and it didn't have it. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I totally thought it was Tanner because I thought it was he Tanner. says sheesh all the time. I know. He's like the only person I have ever heard say that and he says it all the time. <laughs> I, think, I don't know who's handwriting it. It's a mystery. They probably did all caps on purpose. <laughs> the world may never know. Did you label the snake out there? Yeah. It was? That was you? We found out. Uh, <laughs> I was like, look at my boy over there. <laughs> <laughs> I picked so it up, I, I, I shaked it, took all the hands out, and I was like, alright, let's wrap this. <laughs> it was for respect, huh? Yeah, yeah. He didn't make it. <laughs> we found How many times have you done this before? Oh man, don't ask those questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wow. We did, we've, we've debunked the case. The way he smiled when he asked. <laughs> you can wait all day for something like, was that you? He's like, yeah. He's so quiet, nobody <laughs> wants to suspect him. <laughs> He's totally the guy who puts a get well soon balloon on a dead deer. Yeah. Really that's that's Eric. Really? Yeah, it was funny. It stayed there for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's going to eat the snake. Do you want to eat the snake? Ooh, he looks angry. Yeah, he don't want to eat it. Case closed.